Hello, hello friends, it's CEO here. And welcome back to my channel. Autumn is upon us. The leaves on your trees will begin to turn vibrant hues of yellow, orange, and red, and pine cones and acorns will start to appear all over your island. To accompany this season, there is an entire acorn and pine cone DIY set that you can collect. So today, I'll go over how to get every DIY in this set before the season is over. But real quick, before we jump into the video, today's video is sponsored by Disney Emoji Blitz. You can download the game for free using my link in the description on your mobile device or tablet. This download link also serves as a creator code, so anything you buy in the game goes directly back into my YouTube channel to upgrade equipment and make it an even better viewing experience for you. I'm also running a sweepstakes for a $20 Nintendo gift card over on Instagram, so stay tuned to find out how to win. Disney Emoji Blitz is a unique game, and unlike any other Match 3 game out there, you get to interact with your favorite Disney characters as cute emojis, and each one has its own special power-up. You can use these power-ups to control the game and allow you to plan your winning strategy. My favorite emoji is Sully from Monsters, Inc because just like in the movie, this lovable kitty is the top scarer and easily scares emojis off the board, which helps you win the game. I'm also running an Instagram sweepstakes for a $20 Nintendo gift card. To enter to win, download Disney Emoji Blitz using my link in the description, screenshot when you get to level 20 in the game, and post it on Instagram and tag me in your post at CEOMG underscore crossing. The winner will be picked on September 14th, and I'll announce the winner here as well. The acorn and pinecone season in New Horizons is from September 1st to December 11th in the Northern Hemisphere and from March 1st to June 11th in the Southern Hemisphere. This gives you about three and a half months to collect all the acorn and pinecone DIYs, along with all the pinecones and acorns you'll need, which are needed to craft these DIYs. Later in this video, I'll go over how to get all the acorns and pinecones you'll need to craft these fall-themed DIYs. The DIYs in this set include the tree branch wand, the yellow leaf pile, the pile of leaves, the leaf campfire, the traditional balancing toy, trees bounty lamp, trees bounty little tree, trees bounty big tree, trees bounty arch, the pine bonsai tree, the trees bounty mobile, and the acorn pochette. When the season starts, Isabel will make an announcement that she has seen goodies falling from trees, specifically acorns and pine cones. There are some situations where Isabel won't make this announcement. Some examples include if a villager is staying at your campsite, Nook's Cranny is getting an upgrade and will be closed, and if you don't have enough cedar and hardwood trees planted on your island. Isabel will also send the Trees Bounty Little Tree DIY to your Nook phone during this announcement, so it's important that you get it. But if you want to get the rest of this DIY set, it's a little trickier. These acorn and pinecone DIYs can only be obtained by shooting down balloons with presents that fly overhead on your island. Any color of balloon can contain these DIYs, so your best bet is to shoot down every balloon you see to increase your chances of getting an acorn or pinecone DIY. I highly recommend keeping a few slingshots in your pockets at all time so you can quickly shoot down balloons as you see them. You won't be able to run into your house to get a slingshot or go to Nick's Cranny to buy one on the spot because balloons disappear when you enter any building. However, if you're speedy and in dire need of a slingshot, you can craft one at a DIY table that you've placed outside if you have five pieces of hardwood. If you're even speedier, you can use an axe to quickly chop wood from a tree then scurry over to your outside DIY table to craft the slingshot. You could also have a DIY table in your pockets that you can place anywhere, reducing the time you'll need to run in order to craft so you don't miss your chance to pop a balloon flying overhead. So I recommend keeping all your options open and carrying a few slingshots, hardwood, an axe, and a DIY table on you at all times when you're farming for these DIYs. But it's overall much simpler just to carry a bunch of slingshots in your pockets to be safe if you're on the balloon popping hunt. Now that you have your slingshots, you need some balloons to pop to get these DIYs. I have an entire video on how to farm all the balloons you'll need that explains a method that uses jail bars to force your balloons to a certain part of your island to make them easier to find and pop. That video will be linked in the description and a card will pop up now that can take you directly to that video. But if crafting jail bar after jail bar isn't your thing, there's another way to encounter more balloons. Simply be outside on your island more than you're inside. The more time you're outside, the more chances you have to encounter balloons and pop them. And since you'll need to collect acorns and pine cones that only appear outside anyway, collecting these materials is a great way to spend time outside on your island. 
I'll go over the best way to collect acorns and pine cones in a bit. But I also want to note one thing about where balloons spawn. Your balloons will fly onto your island from east or west, depending if it's day or night. The wind direction is determined randomly when your island is created, so you'll have to figure out your wind pattern to accurately know where balloons will spawn from. An easy way to do this is to look at a villager's chimney. Here the smoke is moving to the west during the day, which means my balloons will spawn from the east side of my island during the day and spawn from the west side during the night. Your island will either have the same wind pattern as mine or will be the exact opposite. And once you know your wind pattern, it will never change. Now back to farming acorns and pine cones. These materials fall from trees, acorns from hardwood trees and pine cones from cedar trees. Thus, it's crucial that you have a decent amount of cedar and hardwood trees planted on your island. If you have very few or none of these trees on your island, you will not be able to harvest any acorns or pine cones. And in theory, this season will not take place on your island. Typically, when you shake these trees, a tree branch will fall. But during this season, you have a 15% chance that an acorn or pine cone will fall instead. I've also done some research and discovered there's a limited spawn area where acorns and pine cones can fall. The spots on the ground marked with an X are the only places items can land when they fall from trees. If you shake a tree over and over, eventually an item will land on every marked spot. Once every marked spot has an item on it, the tree will not spawn any more acorns, pine cones, or tree branches, no matter how long you shake it, because all the spawn points are filled. And when this happens, you just need to pick up all the fallen items in order for the tree to drop more. It's also very possible that when you shake your tree, only tree branches will fall on every marked spot. Now this is not ideal, but you can always pick up the tree branches and try again. It's also likely you'll only get one or two acorns or pine cones per shaking round. Getting these crafting materials can be harder than getting all the fall DIYs themselves. So stay tuned to the end of this video to learn about an exclusive opportunity for you to get acorns, pine cones, and DIYs super easy. When you're shaking trees, you may also encounter a wasp nest that falls with angry wasps emerging that will sting you. If you hold a net while shaking your trees, you can easily catch the wasps right as they begin to attack you. If your catching skills aren't the best, you can also carry medicine in your pockets that you can quickly take to heal your wasp sting. If a wasp stings you two times in a row and you haven't taken any medicine, you will be warped back to your house. And this is annoying and it takes time away that you could be using to shake acorns and pine cones out of your trees. So to stay safe, I highly recommend carrying a stack of medicine in your pockets before you embark on your acorn and pine cone hunt. And to accompany this season, I'll be hosting a free autumn-themed treasure island filled with all the DIYs and crafting materials that are part of this fall season, including all the DIYs I mentioned in this video, along with acorns and pine cones for you to take. If you're interested in visiting my autumn treasure island, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. I also stream Animal Crossing over there with a welcoming community and would love to have you join us. Follow me over on Twitch and join my Discord to get all the information you need to visit my treasure islands. Let me know in the comments what fall DIY you're most excited for. I love the Trees Bounty Arch for autumn themed islands and you can even change its color. If you made it this far in the video, consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing really helps the channel out and it lets me continue making these videos for you. Also, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like on it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.